Welcome fifth grade social studies scholars to another Passport to Social Studies video. My name is Mr. Giordano and I will be your teacher for today's lesson. We will be continuing with Unit 3, a United States case study in our Day 16 lesson. The topic of this lesson is, are all schools created equal? Our focus question is, what civil rights challenges and opportunities do the people of the United States face today? Our learning objective is to analyze multiple accounts of the same issue, the struggle for equality and civil rights, noting important similarities and differences. We will, all, we will also be examining responses to inequality by recognizing the arguments as well as the evidence supporting those arguments. Today, you will be analyzing multiple accounts of the struggle for equality and civil rights through various texts and a political cartoon. We will be using the political cartoon analysis tool that you can view by clicking the blue hyperlink to the right, then make a copy of it and save it for your own drive. Together, we will analyze the affluent only and poor only cartoon and discuss the connections of this cartoon to the past. Finally, we will discuss the check for understanding prompt at the conclusion of this lesson. Here is the link to the political cartoon analysis tool. If you click this link, it will take you to a Google Doc template that you will use as you move into this lesson and begin to analyze some political cartoons. And you can see there's three sections to this, uh, your observations, your reflection, and then your questions. And what you can do is you can go to file and press make a copy of this tool for yourself, for your own Google Drive. So again, today you're going to be studying the issue of school desegregation in the United States by analyzing political cartoons. And a political cartoon, they focus on things such as an important event, a person or topic. The cartoon portrays the cartoonist point of view. Political cartoons can often be humorous and clever if you understand the issue illustrated in the cartoon. So let's take a look deeper at political cartoons. Well, again, let's review what is a political cartoon. A political cartoon is a drawing often, often including a caricature made for the purpose of conveying commentary on politics, politicians, and current events. Political cartoons play a role in the political discourse or conversation of a society that provides for freedom of speech and of the press. The first political cartoon appeared in Benjamin Franklin's newspaper, the Pennsylvania Gazette, on May 9, 1754. It appeared as part of an editorial by Franklin commenting on the present disunited state of the British colonies. And here is that political cartoon. It says join or die. And you can see it has various sections of the 13 colonies, New England, as well as various colonies themselves, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Virginia, all split up trying to work to unify the 13 colonies against the mother country of Great Britain. And on the right side, there are some other political cartoons displayed that relate to our current COVID-19 pandemic, and they seek to honor the important role that healthcare workers played in us recovering and really addressing this pandemic to save as many lives as possible. And so you can see up here, we have Batman and Robin, and the, the text bubble says, this is a job for real heroes. And in the icon of the light that shines across the city is the healthcare worker icon, really honoring the importance of healthcare workers. And down below, again, you can see healthcare workers diving into the, digging into the ground, a flag, similar to something we would see from uh, September 11th. And we would have the same image of firefighters and police officers um, and emergency workers trying to help us recover from that disaster. Here we have healthcare workers planting this flag into the ground symbolically with, we have with IV bags and other respiratory devices attached to it. And it says COVID-19 outbreak. They're, they're putting it into the ground to fight that outbreak. But again, these are political cartoons demonstrating that issue and honoring the important role that healthcare workers played. So in this lesson today, you're going to familiarize yourself with that political cartoon analysis tool that I showed you before. And if you have any questions about that tool, you can certainly let your teacher know.
you can make a copy of that tool for yourself to use. You're going to take a look at the cartoon on the next slide that says affluent only or poor only, and you're going to work with your teacher to complete the boxes on that tool relating to your cartoon analysis. But let's get started together. So here is that political cartoon, and you can take a moment now to really soak in all the details and the text of this political cartoon. Again, it's titled as affluent only slash poor only. And let's move on to the next slide and really take a look deeper at this political cartoon and think about how we can work through our thinking and speak our thinking out loud about what we're seeing and what we're noticing on this political cartoon. So something that I'm noticing is that the caption at the bottom, it reads school segregation circa 2000. And we were just speaking earlier about school segregation and what this means, segregation, is to separate people because of their differences. And we see that there's no people in this political cartoon, but we can certainly see two different water fountains. And the one on the left looks larger than the one on the right. It might be more modern or newer. Uh, the one on the left is not leaking. The one on the right is leaking. And the walls and the floor of the cartoon on the right are peeling at the bottom. While there is no disrepair on the wall for the left water fountain. And although this is not a real place, sometimes you will see in the White House or the Empire State Building or some other real place, something um, like this with the water fountain inside of a public place. And there's also this date of circa 2000. So circa means approximately. So this cartoon is supposed to be giving us a, a picture or a, a depiction of, of the year 2000. So let's also take a look at these top titles above the water fountains. Um, nothing is really exaggerated in this, in this cartoon. Um, the water fountain on the left is larger. It appears to be newer than the one on the right, which is smaller and is leaking. Um, the only action we can really see here is, again, from the leaking water on the right, that that's something that's happening and is dripping as the water fountain is just sitting there waiting to be used. Um, but we certainly do see these signs above the water fountains. And one of the signs on the left, it reads affluent only. On the right, it means poor only. And the word affluent means to have money, to have means, to have wealth of some sort. So what the cartoonist might be showing here is that the affluent or the rich students have better conditions than the poor students. And that this is, you can get a sense of this because of the water fountain for affluent students, which is larger, it's newer, the wall is, is clean, it doesn't have any wear or tear to it. Uh, versus the one on the right, where the poor students have access to the older looking water fountain that's smaller, it's leaking, the wall and the floors around it are, are in disrepair. And again, this is a think aloud of what we're noticing and some of our observations and conclusions we're coming to as we analyze and really break down this political cartoon. So we also want to explore and make some connections to this primary source photograph to the left on this slide. And the political cartoon, the one that we just looked at, it reviewed um, and tried to show how segregation uh, today, according to the cartoonist creator, the person who made that, is based on economic class, right? Looking at poor versus rich and the conditions of what those two, two different groups received in the water fountain. Um, however, in this photograph, it's being based on race. And in that, again, in this photograph to the left, we can see water fountains labeled white and colored. So there are separate water fountains being established for different groups of people based on their race. And this is something historically that did happen in our country during a time of separate but equal, where there are two separate facilities or places where people can gain access to different things or use different resources. However, they certainly were not equal in what was being offered or in the condition of the particular item or resource. In this case, the drinking fountain. We can certainly tell that the two of drinking fountains are not equal. But the author of this cartoon 
is certainly drawing attention to and making connections to this earlier primary source photograph that had been a part of our history. So with that said, today at the end of your lesson, once you're done analyzing this primary source document with your group, you're going to complete your check for understanding question. It says, why do you think people make political cartoons to express their point of view? So before you answer this question, I just want to remind all of our social studies scholars out there that one of the reasons why political cartoons are so effective is that you do not have to be a good reader to understand the cartoon. They have symbols, they have various exaggerations at times in their cartoons to be obvious to most people where they can break down the meaning and try to draw connections to the political, the current political issue or climate that the cartoon is referring to. So again, it's something that you don't have to necessarily be a good reader to access and understand. Okay, social studies scholars, now your mission is to complete your political cartoon analysis for this lesson and your wrap-up question. Great work today. I will see you next time and happy learning.